you have mentioned this a little bit already. Looking back now at your time in Ubanda spiritism is is, is uh, very alarming and eye opening for you as you look now at the at the current landscape of especially American media and um, and so you know quote social just, justice causes because one of the most one of the more fascinating things uh, as it relates to Ubanda spiritism is that it it correlates so much with uh, like you were saying, Beyonce, and even I'm sure many people would be surprised by this, but you have an excellent article written about this on your blog, and we'll give that at, out at the end where people can find that blog uh, uh, so people can read it for themselves. But with uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, the, the people I'm sure would be very surprised to understand how much all of this overlaps, but it does. And so can you take us through how you uh, have come to find out that what you are practicing there? Uh, in in Brazil with Ubanda spiritism and what you see now in the current landscape and social justice and, and entertainment has overlapped so much. Yes, going back to the African roots of Ifa from the Yoruba people in West Africa that practice Ifa is the same practice that I that we've been talking about uh, Umbanda or Fudu or um, Candomblé, Kimbanda, or um, Santaria. And there are other names, but these are the most common ones. So Ifa is the, the main religion in Africa. So what surprised me when I started uh, reading different articles about uh, Black Lives Matter, and I made the connection, I, I had no idea either, that they worship the dead and you know we'll share that link to my article um, and it, it it explains i believe it very clearly the whole how it links but the founders of black lives matters practice ifa the um this religion that they believe in spirit communication the spirit they believe in, in in communicating with the dead without getting into much detail of what it is and what they do because it's very similar to everything we already talked about they um before every time that we saw on tv that they they were having their um uh, they called their protests every time they had their protests especially after George Floyd was was killed, uh, they always have a, they, they offer libations, which, you know, is offering like drinks to the spirits and they have a ceremony prior to starting their protests because they practice Ifa, they practice this um, spiritual religion that believes in contacting the dead. So, Again, without getting into too much detail, they, with their own mouths, they, they talk about how this movement is a spiritual movement. So people need to realize how dangerous this is. We're following people, a lot of Christians are following Black Lives Matter, because of course Black Lives Matter. Nobody's saying that they, and, and what happened to George Floyd, Floyd was horrible. Nobody would, or anybody that gets killed by the police. It, it, it's not, we're not talking politics here. You know, any any Christian, they're not gonna agree that, you know, these things are, are, are good or that, you know, people should be treated differently because of their race or their color or their religion, no. But what happens is people fall into this social, like you said, the social justice, mentality and they think they're doing a good thing but they're they're literally coming into a spiritual bondage because they're participating in a ritual unknowingly they are because they're protesting but they're participating in a spiritual ritual that was started before the cameras even were started rolling uh they do other things you know besides libations they they you know the, you see people with sage and uh, doing um, incense and 
offerings and flowers and all this other stuff that we do in these other religions and, and we did and what I practice. But the, the scariest thing is that when they say, and this is from their mouths, they, these are quotes from them that I have in my article. When they say, call his name or call her name, and they call these people's names, you know, when they were chanting George Floyd's name or whoever was killed that they, they were chanting, they're not honoring the people. Like we, you know, most, I, I believe most Americans believe that they, they are honoring the lives. Of, no, they're literally calling on the spirits of these people, uh, calling on the spirit of the dead to come and participate in this protest. And we know as Christians that to die once, then comes judgment. And there's no way in the Bible that says our spirits come back to earth. Once we die, God's going to decide whether, you know, we go to hell we go, or we, we stay with him in forever. There's no coming back. There's no reincarnation. That we always strongly believed in reincarnation before I became a Christian. That was part of my belief system. That's part of Umbanda. That's part of the uh, Ifa belief system that BLM um, leaders believe. So they're calling on these spirits, believing that it's the spirits that they're con contacting spirits of these people that died when they're actually calling on on demons so every you know of course the, all this turns to to chaos because people can get possessed by you know just you're inviting demons to be part of this you know they're everywhere anyways they're, they're not very polite they don't really need invitation to to do a lot of things but this is you know uh, a ritual to to have many many people bow down to to Satan and worship him because that's what you know it, the Bible says you know you, you're not to to contact the dead it's you know it's an abomination to the Lord and that's what they're doing and I think we talked about Beyonce practices this uh, her husband um, and I, I have many other people in my in my book and my blog and different articles that that openly practice this type of faith this type of religion they call ifa here same thing umbanda no difference so it's being introduced into the culture through you know music through social justice politics and the the scary thing is that People are just being, you know, like that story they say about the frog, you know, you put the frog in the water and then slowly start to boil the water. They they don't, they never feel it get hot enough to jump out. It's a slow process and they die. I think that's what's happening with America. You know, the fabric of America uh, just has become so contaminated with these spiritual beliefs that are real, that are dangerous. And kids are practicing it, like kids that look up to Beyonce, there, there are websites that teach kids how to um, channel the the deities that that Beyonce worships and that she becomes possessed to, to become, you know, beautiful, to get this, to get that. And, you know, kids are doing witchcraft. They're learning to do, you know, potions. And I mean, you know, from Harry Potter to Disney, there's so everything has to do with uh, there's a cult behind it. It's cute, some of this. It's, it's, you know, we talked about that how in America, like most countries that I mentioned, Africa, Brazil, uh, Caribbean, we practice these things as religion. This is our religion. But here in America, it's introduced as um, entertainment. So mm -hmm. it's introduced through song, through, through culture through um, TV, movies, literature, and now openly in politics through, you know, BLM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very dangerous, very dangerous. It is. And it comes back to the enemy being very, very patient. 
uh, very smart because he's been studying us for so long. And I think you even see a little bit of this in the, in the Bible, like in the Old Testament, very patient with uh, incorporating these other spiritual belief systems into ancient Israel. So, uh, you know, so so patient that it was just here and there uh, in, 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 in Israel where people were practicing these uh, uh, different spiritual beliefs. And all of a sudden you go from here and there to uh, the people that were supposed to be taking care of the of the temple, the most high priests in, in ancient Israel were all of a sudden doing uh, pagan practices in, in the temple of God. And right. it just, it really reminds me of that. I just think that once again, Satan is very subtly inserting these different uh, practices into our culture. Like you said, much more now, I think through entertainment and through uh, social justice uh, and, and it extends to everything. And it goes to new, new age as well. Uh, yoga, um, yes. I, I even think you can, you can talk about like, uh, you know, drug, drug use, uh, you know, really since the sixties, it seems like it just keeps, continues to ramp up just a little bit every decade where it becomes more mainstream. And of course, witchcraft is, is all over, uh, mm -hmm. mainstream entertainment, uh, whether that's through Harry Potter or different types of, uh, uh, you know, video games or movies and things like that. And what that does is I'm not saying that everybody, uh, that watches these things or plays these things are, are, are of the devil or anything like that. But right. what I'm saying is that it, it familiarizes people and gets people comfortable with it. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, you might have, you might buy yourself a, a book of spells or you might start checking out the horoscopes and it's just, it's just very subtle. And, and that turns into, okay, uh, there's, there's never enough. I always, I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more, mm -hmm. especially for people that are, ha are lacking any kind of spirituality in their lives because we're spiritual people beings we need to have that relationship with god and if that's not there which unfortunately for many people now it's not they're going to find something else to replace that with whether that's the black lives matter movement and this in the spiritual roots behind that with it and people not realizing that uh beyonce entertainment um seductive uh aspects of that entertainment like beyonce's um like you said, calling on these beings in the middle of uh, performances, that is seductive to people. People, even if they don't realize that there's a spiritual background behind it, there's there's an allure there, just like we've been talking about before with, with your own spiritual practices growing up, that I think is seductive to people. And, with, and without realizing it, they're opening up doorways to to these different types of spiritualities. And it's very, I think it's scary. And I think it, um, especially, you know, it, it just reinforces the idea that we need to come back to that foundation of truth that I think, like you said, the fabric of America is slowly slipping, slipping away from in the Judeo-Christian understanding and foundation. 